Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jonas as many are true and welcome back to Skyrim where you join me underneath the already pretty low down black reach. And we are currently in the Silent City Catacombs, which I'll admit sounds pretty bloody badass. We're about to nip down into the sewers, um, but if I'm going to nip down into the sewers, then Benor's coming with me. So Benor, I am sorry about this, but it's kind of the only way to make you drop down things sometimes. There we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Unfortunately, that has kind of alerted some of those guys to the fact we're coming. Uh, but that's okay. Let's just put a storm thing down there to help out. Benor's still at reasonably good amounts of health. And now we just head over here and start finishing these guys off. Lovely. So, doop de dee 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 And a former is dead. Nice. Okay, good. Good start in the sewers. Right, so... We're down in the sewers now. I don't think Benor's just charged ahead. Benor's charged ahead. He's got a lot of anger to get out of his system because of the amount of abuse I put in for on a daily basis. So he's just basically gone charging off ahead to take care of whatever's up ahead. Oh, he's gone way far ahead. Benor has just decided he's just found... Wait, where's Benor gone? Be Benor? Benor? We've got... Oh, he's trying to just pick a fight with that guy. Well, that's just irritating. Actually, can I still get a sneak attack during combat? Is that possible? Oh, I might have been able to as well. Boo! Benor, stop ruining it for me. Right, guys, this looks like it's the right way to go. So let's nip back to where we were and just explore the other way first. So there might be like a chest or something in that direction. But yeah, we're in some form of undercity to an undercity right now, which is... I think that makes it more badass. I'm at least moderately confident that that's more badass than just an undercity. An undercity to an... No! Ouch! Bloody hell. Right, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Does anyone know where the thing was that I just... Oh, there it... Never mind. Okay, this time... This time, we don't step on the trap plate. Okay, nobody step... Actually, I'm just going to run because someone else is going to... Yep! Thought you were planning to do that. Well done, Benor. You're planning to step on the trap plate a few more times yet, aren't you? Yep, yeah, I thought you might be. Okay, so there's actually more this way. Bloody well, right. Crag this open. Can we turn off the traps that way, please? Has that turned off the traps? Has that turned off the... Yep, that's turned off the traps. Good. So, there's loads more stuff in both flipping directions down here. Now we're in the... Oh. Well, you're going to start spawning stuff. Or maybe not. Maybe we're fine. Uh, okay. So, we've now got, yeah, more... A watery section. Yeah, we might actually be exploring the... Oh, no, that's just a... Okay, that's a back way out of here. Fine, where does this go? Okay, I think we're in a bit we haven't been to before because the colour doesn't look right. And there's a Centurion over there, which we're not going to wake up. Ah, there we are. Yeah, we're just beyond that. Okay, fine. So there's a back entrance this way. So these traps no longer... Okay, the traps did reactivate then. Never mind. That's fine. Just practicing my restoration. Meant to do that. But yeah, this time, keep going the way I went last time. Head up. And we're going further and further. Oh, wait, hang on. Is this back to the... Is this just a loop? Ah, this area might be a fair bit smaller than I was expecting, in fact. Because, yeah, this is now... That loops back to the room we started in. That was just a back entrance out. I think, in fact... Yeah, actually, that might be a lot. So there's less here than I was anticipating. Well, that's fine. That's 100% fine. It's nice to find a thing called the Undercity Catacombs regardless. So back out to Blackridge. And thank you to the comments, by the way, who said to me, yeah, apparently the thing I'm supposed to do with this thing is shout into it. So we'll give that a go. So we'll put that. Yep, that's now gone dong. Did that do a thing? Wait, what? That's a dragon, isn't it? Oh, I hate you all. Why would you have told me to do that? Benno, we've got a dragon somewhere underground right now. Okay, this is uh, this is a problem. Okay, Benno. Benno, we need to get down on the ground here. Benno. I'm very sorry. There we go. He's he's not dead, right? No, he's fine. He's, he's fine. <laughs> he might be a bit injured, but he's okay. We'll, we'll heal him up if he's injured. Oh, yeah, he's really badly injured. Don't worry, Benno. I'll come and save you. Okay, heal up Benor. Um, but where's that dragon gone? It's got, wait, did I just see something over there? If I just spin around, will I see? No. All right. Um, so I think I've now just summoned a dragon 
into an underground cave. Yeah. Likely I've done that. And no, also, how on earth do I get up there? Ooh, I want to get up there. That seems cool. Um, yeah. Summon a dragon into an underground city. No bloody clue where it is now. So that's good. Okay. Ooh, ooh, there it is. No, we found it. Okay, so there's a dragon down there. Should probably do something about that, I guess. Yeah, get a big firebolt, toss it down there. Ooh, it's named! Hello! You're named Vulferol. Excellent, which I'm pretty sure is something I normally take if I have a cold. So let's just kind of get some firebolts in on him. Yeah, we're definitely doing well. When I say we're definitely doing damage, we're, we're doing like, you know, something. It, it's hitting him. I'm not sure if I've actually seen anything come out of his health bar yet. No, I'm not sure. Maybe, actually, he's, he's not actually taking off. So that's... I mean, this could take a while, but it looks like it's working. Also, my destruction's going up, so that's nice. Nice big firebolt for you. Oh, you finally escaped from your little prison. You might have done, and I just missed your tail too. Hello! Were you planning to do anything to me? Presumably you can fly, right? I and mean, if you can't fly, that makes my life much, much easier. Oh, so I'm guessing... Oh, yeah, of course, Benor's just basically run straight down. Of course he has. <laughs> Benor, Benor, that's not necessarily... You know what? I'm going to support Benor as best I can, damn it. Right, drop down here. Drop down here. Let's get a Storm Atronach. I think Benor's probably going to be in trouble soon. Yeah, there we are. Benor, how are you doing? Actually, you are doing... You're doing surprisingly well, actually. Good. Get a Storm Atronach up. Keep Benor alive. I think we can do this. Looks like these two together might be able to handle it. They're certainly getting his health down in a hurry. Right, Benor, have yourself a little bit of stamina and whatever there. Lovely. I'm going to get Marked for Death up, because Marked for Death will be the most useful thing I can contribute to this point. And other than that, looks like Benor's losing health pretty slowly. So, in which case, let's just focus on... Keeping Benor nice and alive. That guy's definitely been hit with Mark for Death. His attacks actually seem pretty weak, because he's really struggling to take out my Storm Atronach. Which I wouldn't really have expected, but yeah, now we just basically focus on keeping Benor nice and safe. That guy's presumably going to be running out of... Yeah, he's going to time out. Actually, it's almost weird that he's going to time out under the circumstances. Uh, you've got almost nothing left going on there. Benor can basically out heal anything you've got there. Hit you with the... Uh, I'm told it's key, not he. The female voice actress sounds like she is saying key, but apparently it's key. Right, you're actually in trouble, aren't you? You're in a lot of trouble. I kind of thought, yep, conjuration up. I kind of thought it was like, you know, a special named dragon that's a secret Easter egg. You'd be super tough, but actually, we're doing pretty well here. Right, let's get behind him and contribute in some way. There we go. Oh, yeah, my mate is actually doing a good job here. Get involved. Get involved, get involved. I'm helping, damn it. And there we go. I'd say, oh, I think Benor got the actual killing blow there. But we've actually killed a special named underground dragon there. That's nice. Do you have anything good on you? It's like, you know, marking you out as special and named and stuff. What was your deal, by the way? Did you, you didn't come out of the thing. I think the, I caused a bell to ring that was inside there that summoned you. But... Why was there a living dragon hidden underground in a Dwemer ruin? All right, fine, whatever. Got a big pile of gold and some bones and scales I can hand straight over to Ben or to carry. Also, to the person who told me to do that and didn't tell me what it was going to do, you're a dick. Right, so I think that's that place pretty much cleared out. Now, down onto one of the roads. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Ooh, got a black soul gem out of the geode vein here. Very, very nice indeed. I should definitely kill someone and steal their soul trap for eternity and then put it inside one of my weapons that I'll never use. But yeah, most importantly, it looks like there's a... There's a big old thing over there. Big old thing with a dwarf mask face thing on it. Okay. I haven't been to you yet. I feel like I'm... Yeah, now I'm at the kind of southern tip of the city. So I think I start at the north and I've been slowly working my way... South. So what's this big old thing here? Hello. Open the door and... Okay, it's not a separate area. It's the same area. What have we got? Ah! Tower of Mazark. Okay, well the game's not telling me I need to go down into the Tower of Mazark. Though, 
I swear he mentioned something about the Tower of Mazar. <laughs> that was 100% mentioned to me. Um, but the, yeah. Okay. So that's opening up a different area. But yeah, the only quest I've got to set right now is uh, find the lexicon thing. But yeah, there's a thing here called the, the Tower of Mazar. Does that just mean coming up to a new... That looks like an exit point to me. I'm going to see if that's just a new fast travel location out of this place. Right, this isn't a shortcut out of this place. Uh, probably not anyway. So where the bloody hell am I now? What What's all this? There's huge numbers of ruined books and Joama gyros and stuff and a helmet being used as a bookend. That's very nice. Right, now I'm just in a thing. Tower of Mazark, I guess. Does anyone know? Oh, wait, hang on. I might have accidentally just found my way to... Wait, what? I just accidentally found my way to the right thing. I might have done. I might have done. I thought you said Tower of Mazark. I knew that's what they bloody said. Except, wait, if I just found myself accidentally back to the... Is this just a recycled asset? Okay. I may have accidentally found my way to the right thing, or possibly not. Maybe a different thing. There may be two very similar looking rooms, because this looks like the thing I had to visit during the College of Majors quest. I'm not sure. No, this doesn't look the same. There wasn't a door there. Okay, good. I think I've accidentally found my way to the right bloody thing. Right, okay. Activate the lexicon receptacle. Okay, I can plug in a lexicon to that. Fine. Question now is, what the bloody hell does all of that do? Um, okay. Let's push a button. Push, no, push the button. The button didn't do anything. How about this button? That button also didn't do anything. How about this button? That's not a button. How about this button? Oh, that worked better. Okay, right, so, and then this button is, okay, turning the thing around, now it doesn't do anything, okay, flibbly flip, yeah, fine, now that that's turned around, will any of you do any, no, now none of you will do anything, if I just keep pushing that button, what does it do, okay, now how about you? I think that's the reset. No, that's not the reset button. That's possibly the undo button. Ah! Okay. Now, now the second button is doing a thing. And I swear it wasn't a minute ago. Right, just now have that swing around for a little bit. Can we have it all? Well, it looks to me like it should all probably line up. Oh, now the first button's activated. Okay. Good. That's the... Yeah, that's... Okay, so now the gems have wibbly fwibbled. Yep, that's... I think we did it, Ben Or. Good work! Okay, um, so now we go and we just, we just flip and grab a flipping Elder Scroll. We just grab an Elder Scroll. I feel like that's... Okay! I've, I've got an Elder Scroll. Do we know what we're doing with the Elder Scroll exactly? Because I swear we were supposed to be using the... the dragon lexicon to dragon the... Activate the... Yeah, activate that. Is that good? Transcribe the lexicon and give the lexicon set to us. Yeah, that's fine. But I've still got the Elder Scroll, don't I? Do I? Or is it in Is it in books? Is that... <laughs> does it live in the books tab? Bloody hell, it does as well. Also, apparently it's got literally um zero value, which is strange, given it's like, you know, the thing the franchise is named after. I swear, later in the main plot, I need an Elder Scroll. So I feel like... <laughs> When that comes up and becomes a thing, I should just kind of point out, yeah, I'm just carrying one around. Also, it weighs 20. Though, actually, it's it's not weighing anything. So, it's a quest item. So, I'm guessing I can't just drop the Elder Scroll. Hang on, let's just check if I can just drop an Elder Scroll. No, I can't just leave the Elder Scroll here. I'm just stuck with that now. So, okay, I've got the Elder Scroll. Open up the door. And then we've got ourselves a... Uh, yeah, then we've got ourselves a shortcut out of here. Okay. So as we've got an exit to Skyrim, fine. I could probably do with clearing out some inventory space anyway. Let's actually go back up, open up a new fast travel location and a new shortcut back down here. We can nip back down here later and I can hand that over to that guy to see what's in the mysterious thing. So, Tower of Mazark. Crack that open. Lovely. And anyone around here? Nope, no one around here by the looks of things. Marvellous. Where am I on the map right now? I am uh, actually... Quite a long way off. Wait, hang on. Where the bloody hell is the is the original? There's... Oh, blimey! Okay, so I've travelled quite a long distance by land to get to here. Crikey. 
And once again, no sign of the original expedition here. Long since gone, most likely dead, I suppose. Eating food off Dwemer plates and various bits of plate metal. Marvellous. So, we know where we're going next. Back to the iceberg to hand that over. Because, yeah, what exactly is inside that thing? Good news, Septimus Cygnus. I have actually brought you exactly what you wanted. I have indeed inscribed the lexicon for you. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Ooh. Okay, so I'm not just extracting blood. Okay, why are you so eager to open this box again? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Okay, and who's this lord? Because I kind of had you figured for a mad scientist, and now you're sounding more like a cultist, which would make sense based on how you dress, sure. The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two, for the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here, to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening! Okay. So, now we know why he wants to open it, and it's almost certainly a Daedric Prince who's gonna, like, you know, betray him and whatever. As time goes by, that's... Is that yours? Would you like to be friends? Oh, that doesn't want to be friends. Has it got eyeballs? Oh, it's got eyeballs. It's got eyeballs and the massive tentacles that are disintegrating. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Are you... Oh, you're going to be Hermaeus Mora then, aren't you then? Okay, then. Hi. Speak to the wretched abyss. Come closer. Bask in my presence. Okay, that's... that fine and not at all creepy. Hello there. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Oh, well that's really lovely of you. Thank you, Wretched Abyss. What exactly did you want from me, by the way? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? As someone who regularly raises creatures from the depths of hell, you look like the sort of god I ought to be kind of following the teachings of. Yes, I am totally your servant, my lord. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened and all shall be revealed. Okay, now I'm really up for opening the box. Right, let's go murder ourselves some elves here. 
So conveniently, of course, we can actually nip back to Blackreach Bank now. Plenty of Falmer corpses floating around there. I'm assuming dead would be fine. Also, surprisingly nice day up north here. Very, very lovely indeed. Also, glad didn't miss this, the Armourer's Challenge. Free bit of smithing there, lovely. Actually, you know what? For value weight ratio 170, I will take that as well, thank you. In fact, now I think about it, if I'm really lucky, if I recall correctly, there was an orc among the servants of the Falma in the orange glowy place. Yeah, actually, please, please tell me that corpse hasn't despawned. Come on, please tell me it's still there. That was in the second area, I think, in the pumping station. So if I just cut through the debate hall, should get back over there. But one, we've got ourselves search Falma, harvest the blood. Okay, we've got ourselves Falma, beautiful. Corpses are still here, that's a really good sign. I didn't really kind of think to look about the other servants, but they are... Oh no! It looks like they're gone. Boo! Ah, gosh darn it. By any chance for any of the servants here, you are a... Nope. You are, and you're a Khajiit, unfortunately. Not uh, that. You're a Falma. You're... Why are there so many Khajiit serving you? Wait, hang on. Hang on. You look nice and green. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's Orc, because Orc is one of the rare ones. Actually, it's the... It's the Bosmer. I'm not sure where I'm going to find one of them off the top of my head, to be perfectly honest. Because they're not the most common things in the world. Where am I going to get a flipping wood elf from? Like, high elf? Oh, actually, I think I know where I can get a high elf from. I think I remember a spawn of one of those that I've seen many, many times in the past. Yeah, I think I... What's that thing over there and why is it... Okay, who woke up a Centurion and why? Right, we better go and take care of that, I guess. Because, yeah, if we want to explore this place thoroughly, make sure we've got everything. That guy's going to have to go down. So, ooh. Okay. There's more bad things yet. There's... Okay, what? Where did... Okay. That's odd. Where did Stormy just get himself to? Yeah, Stormy. Right here. Right... Well, I've spent the magic. I'm just not sure where the bloody hell Stormy is. Okay, Benno. Can you handle this, by the way? Because I feel like you're a little bit, like, outnumbered here. You know what? Let's try something else. Let's just try something else for once. Because Stormy, you're letting me down. All right, Stormy and... Okay, what's wrong with my magic in this area exactly? Right, let's just keep Benno... Actually, Benno seems in, like, tip-top shape for the time being. Benno's fine. And he's also taken down that flipping thing embarrassingly quickly after how long it took me. Right, let's get these guys out of the way. That was not getting them out of the way. That was he. I'd forgotten I didn't have unrelenting force set. Okay, what if I try summoning over here? Is here better? Yeah, here's fine. Now I've got a crappy flame atronach. That's fine. You can have a go for once. Shimmy, you want to get involved? Yes, you do. Lovely. Right, quick rally for Ben or that. Lovely. Get him a rally on. Actually, you know what would be useful on this occasion? I've got my very special ability here. Hang on. There we go. And lots of people have been... Now, why did you... Don't do... Okay, my flame attracts kind of screwed me over there. I think that guy is temporarily on the ground. Is he actually... Is he dead or is he just frozen? Bloody hell, you killed him that quickly. Blimey, that's, that's impressive. Right, get this guy down as quick as you like. These reapers are a little bit on the annoying side, but they're dead now. Wow. Yeah, Benner is so much stronger than me, it's ridiculous. Right, and that, ah, and down here, yeah, that's the back entrance to the pumping station, or no, not the pumping station, to the Silent City thing up there, gotcha. Now, if we just follow the road around, we get to that, yeah, we get to the big flame I saw earlier. What's this thing's deal? It's like the pilot light for the city. So yeah, I was here earlier, this is the other side of that area I passed by before. And we've just got a great big, a great big light. I guess it's just a big lantern that lights lights. Ooh. Right, I think we might have just discovered a slightly less pleasant uh, side to the Dwemer here. That looks distinctly like sacrificial area. Right, okay. We've got a temple. Sacrificial area, potentially. What is all this? All right, and ooh, possibly, is that automated sacrifice? Is that like, you know, you put someone there, then you just push a button and it sacrifices themselves. Ooh, hang on, 
What's we got ourselves? Hey! Heavy armor? Useless to me, never mind. So, I probably shouldn't have taken that if I'd have known. Cause you oh yeah. People were totally here to actually watch... What I'm guessing is... Oh yes, yes, yes it is! It's totally automated sacrifice. A sacrificing machine. Activate the lever. Oh yeah. That is a way of killing a person. Got it. And then twice just to make absolutely flipping sure. Okay, great big chopping... Oh, hello. Hello. What's that? Oh, oh, I'm so glad I came back here. There's loads more good stuff here. Yeah, okay, hang on. First, there's this here. What well, looks like a temple. Just explore the temple quickly. <laughs> Get ourselves... Hopefully, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll find, like, you know, a dark elf corpse here. It theoretically could happen. War quarters. Ooh. So I'm just going to guess it's mainly going to be more flipping... Falma in here. That's probably the area we loop back round. Okay, so it's probably just a small self-contained little area here. But what exactly is it for? And when it says war quarter, I guess that just means surely like, you know, based on all the automata that we've seen dotted around, surely the wars in this place were just fought with machines, right? Surely this is just like, you know, where you keep the centurions, or maybe not. Clearly they still needed some form of actual dwarven Soldiers. Okay. Interesting. No, I don't have any actual trouble in here yet, though. So, what's this place for and about? Commander's quarters, I would guess. This is logically going to lead back up top. Just get myself a chest there. More flipping flawless garnets. <laughs> Got enough game. Please stop giving me them blacksmiths. Completely useless to me. Amulet of. Ooh, Amulet of Debella. That's the first time I've come across one of those. Those are actually very, very useful for when I'm just buying and selling. As far as I can tell, that's it. Literally just a quick loop round to get a couple of things out of a chest. Fine. That's 100% fine. Nice to know that we did actually have, like, soldiers, not just centurions. And that now brings us to, yeah, if we go round here, and then I think I saw some stairs over here. Let's just get down towards the, ooh, the depths. So, yeah, there's some... Um, Areas down here that's just down in the depths. What is this for? And more interesting, yeah, you know what? There's also that bit over there, right. Also, after I'm done, come back up here, cross from the waterfall. There's clearly a bridge leading up there to something cool. Let's explore down here first, though. So right down to the base of the city, right down to the bottom. Okay, and I think I just saw some, yeah, of the bastard egg things dotted around there. Oh! Okay, I hadn't actually spotted exactly where those things were. Yep, he's... Ooh, Frost Trolls! Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, that was Ice Form. Never mind, that's okay. <laughs> we'll just work on this guy. Wait, what? What the hell's wrong with that guy? Why didn't he die? Was he... Okay. Was he... Oh, I think I was looking at the wrong one. I think I just killed one of them. And the other one is now just stuck, frozen, until such time as I whack him with a stick. So that's fine. Now he struggles to get up for a while. And now, after I get a few hits in, Ben all gets in over there. Lovely. Yeah, go back over to Unrelenting Force. I was meaning to just toss them into the water. But yeah, Ice Form's actually kind of fun. I need to remember to use that more often. Okay, and now Frost Troll and Ben all are stuck. Oh, he manages to get one hit in there. Lovely. And then they're... Then they're swimming. Okay. <laughs> ben all, I feel like this isn't going well for you right now, Okay. Yeah, Benno is in a bit of an awkward position right now, where he keeps getting, like, stuck in a bit of depth of water he can't actually attack in. So that's fine. Okay, he's got himself in a good position right now, which is nice. Okay, we finally got into a good position here. Good, where me and Benno together can actually get that guy down. <laughs> that was surprisingly awkward, because Benno kept getting stuck in his swimming animation, meaning he couldn't actually uh, do anything to help with the frost trolls. Fine, good, good, good. So what do we have down at the bottom here we've got? Well, actually, we've got something down here. Down at the very, very bottom, we've got one building. It's That was a good trick there, Benor. The derelict pump house. Ah. So this is the old pump house before you moved over to your current one. Got it. And straight into trouble here, we've got ourselves some lovely dwarven spider actual guardians here. These ones apparently shoot lightning. la -dee da A bit more fancy. Well, they... Ooh! You also explode. Explode with a big bang when they're done. Anything we can do down here? There's one 
just another one of you. Gold ore. Very when I say very nice. Can't actually do anything with that. Okay. Don't get stuck over capacity when you're underwater. Ends badly. But yeah, one thing I can see, having done that, is yeah, there's clearly actually something beyond these spikes. If I could just find a that's just a chest. I don't need a chest. I need some form of lever. A lever. Ah. That'll do. One valve can turn this off. Get me through to here. Activate that. And that's... Benor's just teleported underwater. Well done, Benor. And that gets me another chest down here. Nothing major, to be honest. Basic stuff that's okay. I guess it's best to have it than not. And then I started drowning, but it's alright. Right through here. So then that just leads over to... Yeah, then that just leads over to opening to Blackwich. Ah, this will just be a shortcut back up top then. So now I'm going to assume where I am is... Yes. So yeah, that's the, the path that led up from close by to that area. Yeah, I think this is the area I saw before. Okay. So now I'm over here. And that lets me get up to way over there. Alright, I get ya. But in which case, have I missed anything over... No, over there, it looks like it's a dead end. I'm guessing that's just where the frost trolls were living. So, I don't think there's anything else over there. I don't see any buildings or anything. So, this way over here, that's just a... Uh... Is this actually a building? Or is there anything actually here? There's something here. And that's just a new shortcut back out to Skyrim. Fine, we might use that on the way out then. Gotcha. Don't worry about that for now. Instead, for the time being, yeah, let's focus on figuring out what's at the very top of this city. Up beyond all of these here pillars. Because clearly there's some form of like, I guess, oh. Okay, that was either a centurion. It could have just been a Falmer. That's an odd angle looking a bit weird. And it was just Falmer. Okay, that's good. That's very, very... Benor. Benor! Where's he... Where's he got himself this time? Right, I've waited for an hour, and he hasn't reappeared. I think he got stuck on the steps here. Well done, Benor. Right, okay. Out of here, please, Benor. I need you to follow me. Can you follow me? Yeah, there we go. He's got it now. Right, Benor, now you're here. Stay here in reserve, please. I'm going into badass mode for a moment. So, one. Muffle. Get my illusion up a little bit. And now, Falmer can go down nice and quick. So, round here, round here, round here. There's technically, ooh, like a gold exchange, a big market or something. Looks like there's only two. There's only two. That's absolutely fine. So, ooh, no. How did you just hear me? How did you do that? Uh, nope, detected. Well, that's okay, fine. Bruce? Good luck going off the waterfall, you stupid bastard! <laughs> ah, life is good. Needed to come up here if I wanted all of the flipping roots anyway. Benor's just charging it. And he's just going to go. Let's just go into this guy's house and kill him a bit. Yeah, you know what? You're a basic guy. I think you're going to be in trouble. I like the fact that now, actually, my swings are barely doing any less than actual Benor's. Which I do approve of. And I'm guessing the other guy already died. Yes. Actually, this movement... Oh my goodness, did you survive that? Bruce? That is actually genuinely impressive. But not that impressive because I'm now just going to finish you off with a nice power attack. Or just a normal attack. A normal attack is fine. Don't have that much stamina, remember. So, now we need to get our way into the... Well, for the place that looked like it was a gold market, that is a very, very suspiciously, you know, flimsy log, but whatever. So, in we go to here. Yes, indeed, gold or corundum ore. So, yeah, just some basic metal exchange, I guess. And a better safe at the back. Steel gauntlets of the shore grip. I keep finding those. This one's only 20% rather than 25%. So, no, we can do without. Actually, wait, what's the, what's the weight to value? Ah, you know what? I'll take it just for selling. That's a good weight to value, damn it. Another chamber at the other side. Ah, this one, master locked. All right. Okay, found a good starting point. It's somewhere around here. Gotcha. Fourth attempt or thereabouts. And do we get anything good for that? No, actually. A basic Dwemer knife. That was incredibly disappointing for Master Locked game. Incredibly so. Still wonder at the back. This is the... Ooh. The Ralbifarm Deep Market. Yes. So, we got ourselves a deep market down here. I'm going to guess this is going to be full of... Yes. Market, gold, 
Lovely. Locked doors, chests, money. Lock picking just flying up with all these tough things floating around. Plentiful healing. Not really worth bothering with. Another bloody, bloody hell. That's a good way of getting flipping lock pick up, I guess. Okay, that was master locked for three gold and one plentiful magic. Okay, this is not worth doing. This market is disappointing me. As does this room at the end that contains literally nothing. There's just a... Just a room here that's got literally nothing in it. This seems odd. Okay, I can see red. So I know there's something else here inside this load zone. There's literally nothing else here. Hang on, is there like a, a lever to make this area change floor or something? Hang on a flip. I mean, this looks like it should be like a, a lift or something. Hang on, hang on. Close the door. Close the door. Anything to summon a lift? No. Okay, that was bugging me so much I just had to go and check it. Uh, so yeah, looks like I think I'm coming in from the wrong angle. Which is there's a ruin above this. The full... Hang on, what was it called? What was it called? The full city of Raudbathar. Where if you come from there, then this is the exit point from there into Blackreach. So as a result, yeah, I just basically... I'm coming to it from the wrong side. So I'm trying to get through a Skyrim door from the outside. And we all know, tragically, that cannot be done. So in which case, I think at this point, I have actually explored... Uh, Everything that looks interesting in this area, I think, anyway. That means I'm going to come out via, yeah, this little bit here, back out into Skyrim. Now, technically, there are still somewhere 12 more of those bloody things. The mushrooms, the whatever, there's... there's going to be another flipping centurion. Is that another flipping centurion? No, we already activated and killed that one. Marvellous. Uh, yeah, there's another 12 of those uh, crimson roots dotted around here, but that's the sort of quest I absolutely can't be bothered with. If the reward is ridiculously good, let me know in the comments and I may well come back for them, possibly mostly off screen. But uh, yeah, I can't really be bothered to gather another 12 mushrooms in a giant, open, extremely dark area. So, through we go up here, back to Skyrim. And there we are, another great lift. Though actually, presumably... If there was a great lift at Ralbeth, then yeah, actually, this will presumably be the ruins in question. So if I wanted to actually explore those ruins, yeah, clearly, there's some more stuff dotted around right here. So where am I on the map right now? I'm here. So yeah, if I just basically went back to this lift and then went a bit further south, I could totally just get to the ruins. Because logically, it must be that marker on the map right there, because it will be... Very, very close by to the area I've already seen. Alright, fine. Well, that's okay. I don't need to worry about that just for now. What I do need to worry about for now is... Uh, where am I going to get myself some lovely, lovely elf blood? Particularly, yeah, wood elves, dark elves, and high elves. Now, high elf, I think I've got a solution for. I've nipped back here to the Halted Streams camp, which apparently has regenerated some bandits. Okay, well, those guys just need to die again then. Hi guys, I'm back, and this time I'm bringing a Storm Atronach and Benor! Good old Benor. Have you guys actually leveled up? No, you're still basic bandits! Oh, bless you! Oh, thugs! Bandit thugs, eh? You guys used to be scary once upon a time. Not so much anymore. Yeah, you can just go down. Lovely. Benor's focusing there. One flipping bandit outlaw you are. Ooh, an Argonian who had a very, very nice haircut there. But know what I'm looking for. If by any chance any of you are... Yeah, you had a really cool thing there. And candlelight. Don't need to know that. Already know it. If any of you would mind me... Wait, hang on. Are you a wood elf? Are you have any chance of wood elf? Hang on. Did you just have a... Oh, no. You're just a human who had slightly pointy ears. Boo. Oh my goodness, this bandit chief used to be so terrifying. And now Benor's just destroying him. Oh, that's so good. Let's just calm that guy quickly. Let's just calm him down for a second. Calm him down. And tragically, yeah, he had himself a couple of different... Oh, hang on. What was that? What sort of thing are you? Hang on, hang on. What are you? You are... Oh, you're a dark elf. Oh, that's good. By any chance, are you actually willing to be hidden? Can I actually calm you and then actually hit you with a maze attack? Hang on. And then... No, you're, you're running away too fast. Stop walking away, please. All right, you know what? Never mind. You're walking on oil. That's fine for me. There we go. That'll do a good amount of damage to you. 
Has the chest regenerated, by the way? Uh, doesn't actually. I'm guessing it has. Because I can't imagine myself leaving behind a circuit of minor alteration. That's worth keeping just for the selling. Now, if we step out to the back of this cave, if I recall correctly, we have got ourselves, yep, one high elf that always spawns there. I always remember him there. I've seen him there so many times before. I always remember this. Just a mysterious high elf. Right flipping there. Okay. Now that just leaves us one sample short. Wood elf. Now where the bloody hell am I going to get a wood elf from? Alright, after going around and killing quite a few bloody bandits and just basically trying to find one spawning in just by chance, same as I found that uh, dark elf, I've just been a little bit unlucky and didn't stumble across one. So after a while, I decided to just look it up, if there are any guaranteed spawns of one. And there is one, that is Riften, right there through the morning fog. Uh, and close by to Riften, you'll see here that little symbol. Apparently, there's a guaranteed spawn of a wood elf corpse in that Autumn Watch Crossing, I believe they said it was called. Oh, never mind. I just happened to have found a couple of hunters out here. A couple of hunters, and you look distinctly like a wood elf to me. Now, uh, this is technically murder. This is murder, or are you actually poachers? It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Oh, oh dear, admitting to illegal poaching, are we? Okay, fine. If I can't find this corpse really quickly and easily, I'm coming back for you because you're poaching, so that means I'm within my rights to murder you. Oh, bloody hell, I've been... Right, never mind, there was a giant Spriggan monster there. In the name of the Jarl, I strike you down for illegal poaching by your own confession. There we go, and no, 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 no. Don't let him get away. Don't, no. You guys take care of her. I'm going after him. Yes. There we go. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Screw you. <laughs> Screw in your stupid ice form. There we go, and technically is that a, is this a crime? No, this does not count as a crime. Harvest his blood. <laughs> Screw you. Right. Also, no, I don't need to take him with me. It's fine. Do you have any good on him, by the way? He had some He had some gold. I'll have the gold. That's nice. Three lockpicks. That's welcome as well. Other than that, nothing major. Did you have to kill her as well, by the way? Did she insist on dying? Also, silver and moonstone circlet here. Well, technically, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't stealing. They're very dead. They don't need it anymore. It's fine. Yeah, she insisted on dying then. Okay, fine. Ooh, silver ruby ring as well. Nice. We all have that off the dead. Now that should be everything we need, so let's take all of this blood back to the mad scientist cultist in the iceberg. I really want to know what's inside this thing now. You know, I feel good about this. Not only have we got all the blood, I think as far as we can tell, like, you know, some of it may be a little bit on the dubious side, but pretty much every single person that died to get this blood had it coming in some capacity. Right, down we go, down we go. Good news, I've brought you the blood. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Alright, so he's going to go over to his table, presumably. Oh, no, nope, there he goes. And he's just... He's just stabbed himself with it. Oh, has he just filled himself up with the blood of the all the various elves? I think he has. Ooh... That's so cool. What is this? It's it's just a book. I can see. The world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. It's a very valuable book, mind. Oh, hello. And he's dead. Okay. Intriguing. Search the ash pile. Anything good there? Don't need the essence extractor, to be honest. Don't really need that. I'll take that just for the sake of selling it down the line. And take the book. The very, very valuable book that I'm guessing is bound with the flesh of like people like this guy right here. I'll have that. And and yeah, that's that's good that that thing just happens. Okay. Completed. Grab it. So it's... Oh, hello! Right, yeah, I'd like to be your new friend. Please, this is probably the point where he tries to merge me, I'm guessing. Hello, Wretched Abyss again. Come, my champion. Okay, and I'm not your champion monster. No, no, no. 
don't don't tell the weird guy with the tentacles that like you know if he decides I'm the champion, I'm the champion. Yeah, what do you want now then? Now you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Xarxes, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Okay. So, I'm guessing you want me to read the book then? Yeah, I, I would assume. I'm guessing, yeah, let's, let's just read the Ogma Infinium. Can we turn the pages? The sea of knowledge rolls before you. Choose the section you wish to read. The path of might, the path of shadow. Ooh, the path of magic. Yeah, definitely the path of magic, surely for for me. Read the path of magic. So, illusion has gone up. Good. Conjuration has gone up to... See, wait, wait, hang on, 64? Oh, they're going up by five apiece. That's five apiece, it was 35, and now it's going to... Ooh! Oh, bloody hell, has all my magic skills going up by five? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's got to be worth quite a few levels as well. That's got to be worth a fair few levels. Okay. That's that's good. Can I read it again to do the other paths? No, tragically not. That That is a shame. And, oh, it's been removed. Is it gone? Am I allowed to just read it once? Okay, so... By becoming his champion, I basically was like, Oh, by the way, that guy's dead now. So I can have his soul gems. Yay! And Skooma as well. I'll help myself to his drugs. Lovely. But yeah, that's got to be worth, like, at least a couple of level ups. How many level ups do I have right now? So I've got, yeah, health. I've got a second level up as well. And, okay, so I've got basically two perks to take right now. And all of my magical skills have just leapt up by five apiece. Oh, that's really, really damn cool. Including, oh, well, okay. Now, I can hardly resist this right now. I've got fear on high level, adept for half magic, but quiet casting. It's got to be quiet casting for one of my perks. Fine. So now every single spell is silent. That's really, really damn good. Conjuration at 64, destruction at 40, restoration at 57, it was 60 for... Oh, no, actually, I've never taken dual casting of restoration, apparently. Okay, so I could dual cast to overcharge. That would probably be useful. And then recovery 2 is still 3 recoveries away. Enchanting's jumped to 73, but that's still not enough for the next rank of that. Or there's just probably some various bits and pieces around here. Or just one-handed. Could just take one. You know what? One-handed going up to the next level is almost certainly a good idea. Light armor, where does that go? Does that go anywhere good? 25% armor bonus, not really that useful. Weighs nothing, doesn't slow you down, not that useful. Stamina regenerates faster, not that useful. Additional bonus, not that useful. Honestly, I don't see any of that being that useful to me, really. I probably should also start focusing on some, yeah, some more sneakiness but actually if i've got muffle and i can use that i don't need muffled movement pressure plates sprinting for a roll don't need any of that to be honest i would like yeah i would definitely like hang on over here beyond deadly aim i could actually take assassin's blade anytime i wanted to but not quite yet yeah it's either going to be magic or it's just going to be another rank of one-handed damage yeah, I'd say one-handed. Let's just get one-handed damage up a little bit further because in just another three, I'll be able to get another 20% on top of that. And actually, I'm two-thirds of the way to my next level. So with that done, let's just have a little look see what that's done to my damage output. I assume that's represented immediately. 60 damage and a further 15 points of that as well. Oh, yes, and 49 with my paralyzing sword that I haven't really found a good use for yet. But yeah, whenever I run into a really big dangerous thing... That will be... Oh, that was so cool. I am glad we did that. That was awesome. That was well worth the murder. So with that completed, ladies and gentlemen, I think next time I'm going to do a nice little journey 
to the south, in fact. I think a journey to the south might be just the nicest thing. Though, actually, ooh, yes. There's a few things I wanted to the south. I found out about that coat. There was a coat that wanted to meet up here on the mountain overlooking uh, Windhelm. And that has been marked right on my map, so that's there. I could head down here. There's North Wind Summit. There's apparently Shore Stone, which is apparently a little village. I can't remember anything about that. Fort Greenmore on my way to Riften, because I could fast travel straight to Riften, of course. But I feel like that's in some way dishonest. I'd like to do a proper journey to Riften, as I haven't done a proper journey to Riften yet. So, I think next time we will start actually moving down south from this sort of area, through the swamps of this area, heading down towards Riften, towards thinking about maybe, just maybe, doing the Thieves Guild quest. Because with, you know, the Mages College completed, it would be nice to be doing a new guild quest, I would say. So let's move towards Riften, properly introduce ourselves locally, and have a think about what we want to do down there. So, that is coming very, very soon indeed, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>